people are no noticing with Quid not exactly playing too much, DDD playing other games now, has been a little bit of a drop off, uh, but we're still seeing DT here and there. Yeah, I mean, the character is still pretty good, as people like to say. You know, you still get to play three characters in one, yep. so that's just kind of your advantage here. But so far, it is going to be Quick and Cruz here. Cruz on it, this Charizard right now. Would have loved to see a grab there. I think part of the thing, uh, like, conditioning that we always talk about in Smash is that if we can get some, like, shield grabs ready to go, oh, yeah. there you could see a perfect up throw there. But, alas, going to be the self-destruct on the side. We'll just say the kid that's okay. We'll, we'll, we'll say that. But yeah, sneaks in the back end, and again, it's one of his own, and there's the grab we're seeing from now, from the trials, and obviously you're scared of Zard, because obviously a character with such good burst options, you're going to be shielding a lot, so to have that grab in your arsenal as well can really be a, a big surprise. But, oh, speaking of big surprises, nowhere to go from that F-Smash, kind of reaching him on the ledge. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Sometimes you get just stuck between a rock and a hard place, where yeah. if you stand or get up, you're going to lose. If you jump, Mega Man is just going to try and find those back airs. It's just kind of the, the part, but it's going to be Squirtle here coming out here. Good switch on over to Ivysaur, and I like how Cruz is giving Quick the respect and then trying to actually go up there and meet him where he is, but Crash Bomb is going to connect here. The dash attack to actually space out, and the F-Tilt going to have Cruz going up in the stop. Okay. And now Quick again are back on the deficit now. They kind of work their way back up, back to work uh, their way up again. But this girl to absolute menace and it's so hard to hit such a small character, especially a character for Mega Man who doesn't really have those fast buttons out of shield. Okay, still a couple more of these leaf shields. And this is the annoying thing about Mega Man too, is that Mega Man really technically doesn't have to approach you to stack on all of this damage. Sure. And it's really just more of a kind of waiting and spacing game here. But soft hit fair coming down, but like the up special to at least still kind of keep the distance close, if you will. Yeah, of course, if you want to get near me, Squirtle does have that you know, pretty good out shield option. That does, like I said, Mega Man kind of lacks. Swing to the Ivysaur though, probably wants to kind of the range game on their side, but the forward air pushing them out more and more. Okay, still trying to find this down air. Sometimes it only just takes one, but still that respectful pressure here, just kind of giving that like false reality. Like, yep, it's safe to come back on stage, but mm -hmm. good shield grab here. Finds the option though. Finds Saw Blade drop down into the forward air here. Good stuff from Quick, evening it back up. We'll be back in now. Then the Crash Bomber to start off on the Angel Flat really smart. Uh, so once you just do not back until the explosion hits, so you do have something to kind of work off from. A little bit of set play, but now the Ivysaur though. It's out, looking for the down air catch. Can't find it. And now, quick, kind of coming back. Yeah, you got it right. But the problem is you got to play a little bit more spaced out here. And that's what Mega Man can do. Because you know Ivysaur is just looking to catch a jump with that up there. And that is going to be Cruz taking game one. Calling it like you see it. And Lyric, we're going to have to move on to a next set. So which one we can go on to. Uh, let's I'm going to take the spacies. If uh, I dare I say, I think I'd rather take the I think, spacies. I think Twitch chat probably vibing with that as well. <laughs> Alright, this is going to be Temper versus Rich Homie here. You got the good old like Fox Falco. This is a huge tournament for Melee as well. So if yeah. you're a Melee enjoyer, make sure you guys check it out. But that just up smashed right there from Rich Homie going to take that game number one. Uh, and that's the beauty about uh, quad stream, right? We get to just watch all of this. Sure. Ooh, okay, also coming in like on the tail end here, there's the Nair Palutena trying to line up for the, the read on the Explosive Flame, not going to be able to find it. Okay, we got Art from Pac-Man, and uh, how the hell are we pronouncing that name, Lyric? Talk to me. Oh, it, did you just save it for me because you have no idea how to pronounce it either? Call, I was going to call them vowels, but I don't vowels, know. Vowels, you know what? You got it. I'm, no, I'm, I'm down for vowels. I, you know, I was trying to like read it in my my head as AU, but like, <laughs> no, you're right. It's definitely vowels. But that is going to be Arch taking game one. There. You know what? <laughs> as Close we get, let's go back to the space. Yeah, definitely uh, back to here. But we would definitely want to see kind of the, the start here. Fox Falco, uh, Fox also got to mention that light is here. I think he mentioned it in the beginning here. And yeah. He's going to be kind of Captain New England here alongside with Mars and you, you personally love to see a light in New England power up because this crowd gets loud. One of my favorite grand finals ever was Shine with uh, Light Zamba and I think that's actually projected to happen again. Okay. Yeah, New England, one of the, the, the louder American crowds, which I do appreciate as a European. Yeah. So. And they get the edge guard in the up B. And, and what's funny about both these characters, spaces in general, they edge guard each other like no other. They yeah. really have a really good way to kind of interrupt the Firefox, the Firebird either way. Uh, they do a really good job of punishing each other. We're going to see if Rich Homie or uh, TT Mac can kind of get it going. Ooh, okay. Just the, sometimes the scariest things about Fox is just that, that pure movement. I think when 
uh, ultimate came out, a lot of people were just trying to find their way with the movement. And Fox is one of those characters where you can really just like empty jump in your opponent's face, kind of get them to kind of crack first. But the side special, no tech onto the platform. But look at all these airs and dash attacks coming out from Rich Homie. Still, though, will be able to find the smash punish here. But still, just keeping up that pressure, which is what you have to do as this character. I love Fox's moves, right? It's like dash attack is literally just nair on the ground. You know what I mean? And yeah. vice versa. It's just doing the same thing. But it works, you know, keep it simplistic. Ooh, look at that, that's what I'm talking about, the back hit of the down smash. So punishing uh, on these recoveries. Yeah, and the thing is with Falco too, is that you don't really have like too many places to go, right? A lot of the times, like you just want to get back on stage as fast as possible. Yeah. So that side special is kind of correct. But then again, like when Fox has that two frame, got to talk about it, but still, speaking of talking about it, these nares have been nasty coming out from Rich. Yeah, he don't know the homie right now. He's kicking you all over the face. No friends allowed. He's just Fox on Falco. And Tempo getting kind of smacked around all over the joint. Gets the tech option. The tech read as well. And they're down there. Nah, that was crazy. The short at the moment, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we were talking about movement, right? Trying to meet up on the platform there. Good shield down by Demper here. But it is just going to be the up smash out of shield that does take it for Rich. That was nice. Yeah, uh, Rich Homie was definitely coming out the gate swinging. All the nerds in the world kind of put Falco in his tracks. Uh, let's move on over. And I believe we've got a Luigi Rob kind of practice. Let's go over to stay. Uh, yeah, back over here for Cruz and Quick. Uh, I like the battlefield pick actually for both characters yeah. here. Like, uh, the thing is, uh, you can really chase with Ivysaur, right? And it makes it hard for Mega Man to land. But then again, Mega Man has tons of escape options thanks to those platforms. See how it's going to go here for Quick, trying to get this Zard out of here. But this Zard is very healthy. Absolutely. You don't want to fight a Zard that's like barely taking any percent. You know, they don't go nowhere. But the F tilt going to send you somewhere not nice, but still surviving. Quick, fighting for his life right now. Very close, trying to read the uh, get up from ledge, but the up special, the wow. fly, not going to lead into anything. There's so much end lag that is such a committal move yeah. that most of the time, like, you really are just thrown out to try and read something. But if you miss, sometimes it can be bad. Double grab, though, not going to lead any into anything here. So it is going to be quick. <laughs> going to get burned out by the flare blitz there. What a great call out from Cruz. They never see it coming. Testing the reactions. Wow, Cruz with a quick flare bits out of nowhere, taking that two out. I don't know if it's best of five. Yeah, I think uh, it is best, best of five. Best five all the way around? Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah, probably, right? I'm Start the battle. Pokemon Trainer Mega Man. But unfortunately, uh, Ford Temper going to have to go down into that loser's bracket. We're going to head back on over to Quick and Cruise here on Town and City, all right? So we got the bigger stages here on the on the uh, stage list. Yep. The platforms on the side are going to hurt. You don't want to get back at by Mega Man too much. Quick might uh, be in the lead if a little bit. We can just kind of uh, catch a few of them. But still, Cruise doing a really good job of making sure he's not getting caught by anything. Yeah, that's the advantage when there's no platform here for Mega Man because it's just kind of a rinse and repeat, right? Mm -hmm. Now that the platform's flying in, that gave Cruz kind of an, an opportunity to take the express train back to center stage here. But there's the forward air trying to line up something here. And still, I the perks of this stage is that Mega Man can really take its time. Okay. Wow, another flare that's got to watch out for that one. Yeah, and that's the thing on Town City, bigger stage, that means we have more kind of a, like evacuate options here, but those are, those, those back airs you're talking about, Faz, getting real scary. I'm telling you, the scissors works out every time. It doesn't matter if you've got paper or rock, still going to win in that trade out every time on the sides. 
goes high this time. Tries to land. I like that uh, edge of the Chromium. Unfortunately, though, Zard is very quick initial dash wise. Ooh, okay, the fly going to connect there. This second stop for Quick does not want to come off here as Cruz chasing the Mega Man essentially around the stage, but Zard significantly slower than some of the other Pokemon, but still that F tilt is going to be able to come in, seal this up. I mean, Quick needs a stock, and honestly, self destructing <laughs> is certainly one way to get it. <laughs> Does you know what is happening? I got a little gift for you. <laughs> Surprise! The mystery gift. You can only get that through Wi Fi. Okay, the Leaf Shield out yet yeah, again. Has to avoid it as the grab goes slow. Benefits off so much, but not even getting too much until now. Gets a couple of straight hits into the combos. Trying to get something going here. And this is kind of the meticulous part about playing Mega Man, yep. especially when they put up the offensive wall. Building up one wall is something and then playing offensively uh, or defensively. But when it's approaching you in the face and playing defensively, it's so hard to kind of like come out and pick exactly how you want to handle it. But honestly, Cruz in a great position here. Switching on over to the Ivysaur. Probably going to try and find that down air. Well, unable to find anything. So we're going to just back up. There's the grab. Honestly, I actually think the Vine Whip would have probably yeah. done it. But landing up air, still putting him in disadvantage. Trying to read the getup, but still another wrong option select. But I mean, alas, Ivysaur up there is huge. Yeah, the raise leaf into the upper. That's going to be a 3 0 for Cruz. And there's a little bit of scaring, so, uh, so to speak, but just couldn't find that ending. Uh, oh,